angel of death. And the angel of death's coming. When the person sees the angel of death, our Prophet said, told us that there will be this millisecond where you are still alive and you see the angel of death in front of you. You are a part and parcel of this world. You are still a part of this dunya, but the angel of death is there and only you can see it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran that this will happen where that this is something you were running away from. Allah says, you were attempting to deny this. You were ignoring this. You were ghafil about this. And then Allah says that today, Today when you see the angel of death, we have lifted the covering. You will see the real world and that is the next life. And today your eyesight, it is as if Al-Hadid here means it is very clear. You will see everything. So when the angel of death is seen and you are still on this earth, the Prophet said that is when tawbah is cut off. There is no tawbah when you see the angel of death. That is when the, the, the repentance and all hope of salvation is finished. If you were not righteous before, you're not going to be righteous now. And this soul, this angel of death will take your soul. And our Prophet wasallam said that when the ruh leaves the body, the eyes follow the ruh up. The hadith is in uh, Muslim Imam Ahmed, it's authentic. That when the ruh leaves the body, the eyes follow it up. And that is why our Prophet ﷺ said, every dead person, his eyes are looking up. This is a phenomenon we know from real world. Every person who dies, his eyes are looking straight up. Why? Because Allah has allowed us as individual human beings to see our own ruh. We see our own ruh as it leaves our body. And we see it go up and our eyes follow it. And that is when death comes to us. And this is a reality. Righteous's death will be different than the person who was a fasiq and a fajr. Our Prophet told us that for the mu'min, when his time of death comes, the angels of death all come with their entourage. They come with a delegation, a welcoming committee. And Allah refers to this in the Quran. That those who said Allah is our Lord and they were firm in this statement, the angels will all come down, meaning in words, in armies, they will all come down. And these angels, the Prophet told us, they will be as far as the eye can see. And they will have bright faces, shining faces, faces that bring comfort, faces that bring peace. And the person is seeing this right at the last millisecond of his life. And he is terrified. Everyone's going to be terrified. What will the angel say at this time? Don't be worried and don't be scared. Don't be worried about what you're going to face in the future. Don't be scared about your family and children you left behind. We are your protectors. We will take care of you. In this way, the angels, the Prophet have said, will handle his ruh with the utmost gentleness and the utmost care. And they will bring with them the shrouds of Jannah and the flowers of Jannah and the perfumes of Jannah. And they will shroud the ruh in these perfumes and shrouds of Jannah. 
and they will raise it with utmost gentleness and the doors of the heavens will be opened up and the ruh will go up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will say Uktubu kitaba abdi fil that write the name of my servant in the register of the highest registers in the register of the righteous people and then Allah will tell the soul go back and rest for a time on this earth minha khalaqnakum wa fiha nu'idukum wa minha nukhrijukum taratan ukhra that the ruh will then go back down and rest in this earth except for the ruh of the shaheed who will remain flying in Jannah as a reward for the shaheed. But for the rest of humanity, the ruh will come back down and they will rest in this earth. And in this resting, as soon as they return to this earth, that is when the two angels of Munkar and Nakir will come. And these two angels of Munkar and Nakir will ask every single human three simple questions. Who is your Lord and what is your religion? And what did you say about this man? Meaning the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who did you worship? Who was your Lord? What was your lifestyle? How did you live your life? And what was your attitude towards the Sunnah of our Prophet Sallallahu Did you take it or did you reject it? These three questions, my dear brothers and sisters, cannot be answered academically. If you know the answer, but you didn't act upon it, you will not be able to answer. This is not mere theory. This is reality. Ma dinuk, how did you live your life? Not what you said was your religion. What was your actual philosophy of living? Ma dinuk, what did you do with your life? Did you really live according with Islam or not? That is a question mere theory cannot respond. gave us his story and what will happen to him. Our Prophet ﷺ said, as for the one who was evil, who was fajir, who lived an impious life, the angels of punishment will come along with the angel of death. Not the angels of mercy, the angels of punishment. And as far as he can see while he's still alive, He's still, this is the last millisecond. And that is why if you've ever witnessed somebody die, you see them pause for a second. You see them completely as if they're transfixed and then their ruh goes. That millisecond, for them, it is like an eternity. For them, this is a different world. They're seeing the angels and they're seeing the angels of punishment. And right then and there, Allah says in the Quran, anfusihim." Those whom the angels took and they were wronging themselves. As soon as they see the angels, they will give an excuse. We didn't do any wrong. No, no, it's, it's not our fault. And Allah says, Inna Allah, Allah knows what you used to do. They will try to give other excuses.